let's talk about making stencils. Stencils for your art journal can be really cool because it allows you to make the same kind of mark or the same kind of picture in just about the same way all the way through your art journal. And so you see the stencil here that I have on top of this cover. It's the same three times. I repeated the same stencil further back on another page. And if you keep your stencil, you can always have the exact same design. So what you need, you need a cutting board and you need an X-Acto knife. You can use a plain card or you know any kind of card stock, a thick card. And the best thing to do is if you know what you want, you can draw on there already the design. Or if you want to do some freeform cutting, like what I'm doing, you're just gonna make sure that you're cutting using your safety, cutting you know on top of the board and making sure that you're pressing into the card to make your design. Think about direction, what the shapes are doing in your stencil. If it's best for you to draw first, draw it first, and then cut afterwards. So here's a design and I have like two L's in this rectangular shape in this stencil. And that's one way of doing it. If you have if you have a piece of construction paper and maybe it's a stencil that you don't need the entire time or you know that you might not want to use it over again, you can use a piece of scrap paper. One fun thing to do is to fold the paper in half and cut in kind of freeform shapes. Not everything has to be so geometric. It can be very organic. Here's stencils. And it's kind of just fun to see what turns out from cutting freeform. So this stencil would be the same on both sides and I'd open it up and I can use that on a page. So imagine what that would look like. Another way of using a stencil is if you find doilies, you can find doilies at the grocery store. Once you paint over these, and I'm gonna make another video about painting over a doily, these are really cool for stencils as well, and they'll make really nice marks on your page. So that's how you create a stencil. Remember, you need a cutting board, an exacto. knife and you have to follow the safety rules.